Hi everyone, let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find a value of line integral, but we have to find its value using Green's theorem. Okay, the statement of Green's theorem already we have seen in our previous videos. So let us write the statement first. Let us write. So by Green's theorem, by Green's theorem, Green's theorem says integration over C p dx plus q dy is equal to double integration over r deba q by deba x minus deba p by deba y dx dy okay so here line integration okay line integration over c that means boundary of that region and double integration over r that means over the actual region whose boundary is c get it so this is a green theorem we have so line integral is equal to double integration the green's theorem says so here we have to find the value of line integral it means we have to solve the double integration and whatever the value we will get that value i will write here that will be the value of line integral so let us compare given integral with this line integral and let us find what is our p and what is our q before that let me write the given integral here we have we have what we have i is equal to integration over c 4x square y dx plus 2y dy okay so if you compare multiple of dx is 4x square y multiple of dx is p so therefore here what is our p p is 4x square y q q is a multiple of dy and what is multiple of dy here 2y so our q is 2y okay so after that what we have to do as you can see here we we want the values of deba p by deba y and deba q by deba x so let us find so implies we have to find derivative of p with respect to y i am differentiating this one with respect to y so let me write here derivative of 4x square y but see as you know when we take derivative with respect to y we consider x and all functions of x are constant so here 4x square is a constant will come outside the derivative getting so 4x square will get outside and we have to find the derivative of y only so as you know derivative of y is 1 with respect to y we are finding so 4x square into 1 you will have 4x square so let us go for the next q derivative of q with respect to x we want let me write derivative of q with respect to x so what is our q it is 2y See, we are taking derivative with respect to x and there is no any function of x. 2y is there only. So, which is constant since we are taking derivative with respect to x. Derivative of constant is 0. So, that's why its derivative will be 0. So, we got their values. So, let us put all those values in a Green's theorem so to, to get the value of this line integral. So, let me write here. Then, then by Green's theorem, by Green's theorem, I'm putting the values here. So i is equal to what we have, i is equal to line integration over c 4x square y dx plus 2y dy is equal to double integration over r, double integration over r. I'm using the Green's theorem. So the line integral is equal to this one, deba q by deba x. Let us write, what is deba q by deba x? We have got 0, 0 minus, minus sign is there deba p by deba y which is 4x square 4x square and we should write dx dy right so 0 minus 4x square that means simply we will have minus 4x square but as you know minus 4 is constant you can take outside the double integration so minus 4 is constant you can take it outside minus 4 double integration over r x square dx dy so simply we have to solve that double integration and by solving it we will have the final answer right but now the question is how to solve double integration to solve any double integration you should have the limits and right now we don't have that those limits so let us find the region first we will find the limits of that double integration and then we will solve it okay uh, see there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us focus on the region now okay so what have they mentioned c is the boundary of triangle that means this region r is nothing but a triangle we have with vertices these three vertices so let me write here here r is a triangle which is 
as shown below okay so i'm showing the triangle here shown below right so yes what is the first vertex 0 0 as you can see here we have the first that one vertex is 0 0 so next is 1 comma 2 getting 1 comma 2 so 1 comma 2 will be here 1 comma 2 is here 1 comma 2 right the last vertex is 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 it will be here 0 comma 2 so this these three vertices we have so let us join them so this is the triangle we have right so let me call it as o this is a and this is vertex b so we have to solve the, uh, this double integration over this triangle getting r you can say so for that we need to have the equation of all these four line segments okay so as you can see here a b is a line which is parallel to x axis and passes through y is equal to 2 so that's why its equation is let me write here y is equal to 2 see this oa o is a part of y axis whose equation is x is equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 so ob now we have to find the equation of ob okay so let me find the equation of ob here okay just a minute let us use this space so equation of equation of ob is okay so you know that when you have two points and you have to find the equation of that line there is a fixed formula to find the equation of that line that formula is y minus y1 upon y1 minus y2 is equal to x minus x1 upon x1 minus x2 so now the question is what is x1 what is y1 what is x2 what is y2 so it is obvious see we want the equation of line ob right so this is x1 y1 0 0 and this is x2 y2 1 2 so let us put those values here so therefore y is equal uh, sorry y minus y1 y1 is 0 upon y1 0 minus y2 y2 is 2 so this is equal to x minus x1 is 0 here 0 upon 0 minus x2 is 1 so now simply we have to simplify it further getting y minus 0 let me write here so therefore y minus 0 y 0 minus 2 minus 2 x minus 0 x upon minus 1 so minus minus will get cancelled and you will have y is equal to 2x y is equal to 2x so this is equation of line ob so let me write here y is equal to 2x okay so see this triangle we have let me show here this is a triangle we have got here getting and we have to solve the double integration over this triangle so as you know uh, here we consider a strip so we have a two options either we can consider a strip parallel to y axis or parallel to x axis so here i consider a strip parallel to y axis so let me write here consider consider a strip parallel to y axis so let me show that strip here our strip is parallel to y axis see in our previous videos we have already seen our funda that funda is very simple bounded below bounded above and we move strip from left to right okay so for that i should write then y varies from y varies from we write y is equal to to y is equal to and x varies from x varies from x is equal to to x is equal to okay so funda is very simple let us repeat bounded below bounded above then left to right so strip is bounded below by this line y is equal to 2x so i should write y is equal to 2x here okay the strip is bounded above bounded above by what this line y is equal to 2 so let me write here y is equal to 2 bounded below bounded above and then left to right so see strip will go uh, up to this line getting so it will start at this line so whose equation is x is equal to 0 strip will move like this and it can go up to this corner point okay up to this point b where the value of x is 1 so x varies from 0 to 1 so in this way we got the limits okay so already integral already we have got there getting so simply let us use the limit so therefore what will be i i is equal to minus 4 integration see x square i should write dy dx now since we have considered a strip parallel to y axis 
So we consider a straight parallel to y axis. So the inner integration with respect to y and the outer integration with respect to x. If you consider a straight parallel to x axis, in that case, you should write dx dy. Getting it depends on the strip, uh, the direction of the strip. So yes, integration with respect to y having limits 2x to 2, 2x to 2. And after that integration with respect to x having limit 0 to 1. Okay, so let us remove this integral. So we will have some space to write. Okay, so let us integrate now. Minus 4 is constant came outside integration 0 to 1. See the inner integration with respect to y. So x square is constant, it will come outside. So we will have x square here. And integration of dy is y only. So that's why integration of dy is y with limits 2x to 2 dx. So minus 4, let us put upper limit, lower limit x square. So I am putting upper limit for 2, then lower limit 2x dx. Okay. After that, we have to solve that bracket first, then we will integrate. So for that, I'm going to multiply each term by x square. So minus 4 integration 0 to 1, 2x square minus 2x cube dx. Okay, so 2x square minus 2x cube, right? Okay, there is no more space to write. Let me remove this part, so we'll have some space to write. Okay, so let us simplify it further. So i is equal to minus 4 is constant. Let me integrate now. Okay, so yes, you can take separate separate integration, you know that constants if you have you can take it outside. So all those things I will do directly Two as it is since it is constant integration of x square, which is x cube by three, okay, minus two, since it is constant, I wrote as it is integration of x cube is x raised to four by four. So it will be x raised to four by four. 0 to 1. We have to put upper limit first, then we will put lower limit. Minus 4, I am putting 1 here. So you will have simply 2 by 3. Here I am putting 1, so you will have 2 by 4. And if you put 0, 0 is a lower limit, so we should put it now. But if you put 0, you will have zeros here also and there also. So I will not write that thing. Yes, so this is equal to minus 4. So 2 by 3, you can further divide by 2. So 2 to cancel and you will have 1 by 2. We need to cross multiply. So 4 minus 3 by 6. So it is, uh, yes, let me write here 4 minus 3, 1. So minus 4 by 6, that means minus 2 by 3. So this is a required answer. Okay. So make a, a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye bye.